morning and welcome to this week's video notices. My name is Fran and I'm on the staff team here at Hope and I have three things to share with you this morning. As you know, we're going through a period of change and transition here at Hope Church and there's a couple of things happening in the next few weeks where you can be part of the process and conversations. Firstly, a reminder that Seek First is this week. It is an opportunity for an extended period of worship and prayer together to still ourselves and listen and to hear where the Spirit is guiding us. It's also an opportunity to process through prayer what's currently going on for us as a church and community. So please join us on Wednesday at 7.30pm here at St Mary Magdalene's. As well as this, in November, we'll be having another Being Hope Vision Evening. This is an opportunity to be part of the discussions and conversations to talk about what it means to be hope, to share your own ideas about what this could be and also listen to others. If you'd like to come along and be part of this, it will be on Tuesday the 7th of November at 7pm at the Vicarage. For our final notice, I'm going to hand over to Matt, who's going to share with you an opportunity to venture into the wilderness at the beginning of next year. If there is one thing that I believe more than anything else about the life of faith, it is that God is a God of transformation. That God leads us into healing, into wholeness, into liberation. That the Spirit calls us further up and further in that we might come more fully alive. But I also know that that journey isn't always so easy. The Bible says the path is narrow and the gate is small. Have you ever had the experience of trying to set aside time to discern where God might be calling you to try to listen to God? And instead of listening, in, instead of listening in your head, all you end up doing is kind of checking off a to-do list of things that you already knew you wanted to do. Sometimes when we're trying to discern what comes next, it turns out that we already have a plan. I've had that experience, I know. So here, so here is an opportunity to pause, to listen, to be transformed, and it's called the New Year's Revolution. In the first days of the new year, we're planning on heading out into the wilderness to make space for the movement of God. We will uh, we'll walk together, we'll eat and drink together, we'll play together, we'll laugh, we'll sing songs and read poems by a roaring fire. And in the seedbed, in the very first days of the new year, we will prepare to come fully alive. Um, the details are extremely fuzzy right now on what this actually, where and how and when and all of that, because we want to tailor the experience to those who, um, who will sign up. But, but I can tell you that we want it to be accessible, to be affordable, to be approachable. So this is your call to register your interest. If you are interested, um, you can go to our website, www.hopechurcheslington.org forward slash new year um, and register your interest there, or you can sign up using the QR code in the foyer. If there's no appetite right now and there's no capacity, that's okay. Um, I guess I'll go away and I'll have my own private revolution and we can, uh, and we can, uh, we can try another time. But, but if there is appetite, if there, if there is something that connects, if there is something that intrigues, if there is something that says, yeah, maybe this is what I need right now, then let us know and let's go. Thanks, Matt. So a quick recap. Seek first this week on Wednesday at 7.30pm and we'd love you to be there. There's Being Hope on November the 7th. Please do sign up via the QR code if, if you can or seek a member of staff. And New Year's Revolution in the new year. And again, sign up via the QR code. I hope you have a great week. See you soon.